What's up guys, this is Ibanez, and man, do I have a good battle for you guys today. Alright, so I was on Showdown, and I was laddering because I figured, you know what, I'll try and get some more battles. And the first battle I happened to find is against none other than Smogon Mod, Taylor. And, uh, just because I feel like people are going to be like, uh, what Taylor? So here, I'm going to pull up things. Also, Ellie Golding is amazing. That is Taylor's profile, and he's... He joined in 2006, so I was like, okay, so this battle should be interesting. This is also, oh yeah, make your girl go, huh. <laughs> so this is probably like the most offensive battle I've ever uploaded, and um, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. There's a lot of sacking and stuff, that's not a spoiler alert, but yeah. Also, as an extra ounce of proof, he's currently on the server um with the moderator symbol so there's even more proof anyways so i'm gonna lead off with my genesect and looking at his team i'm immediately thinking stealth rock terrakion so that means i can safely go for the u-turn out into my hip out on and get up my own stealth rocks and that's exactly what he's gonna go for so he's gonna switch into his genesect i'm going to go for the stealth rock right here and um, I'm going to switch out to my Rodom. I'm thinking he's going to U-turn or something, but he's actually going to go for the Flamethrower, predicting my Genesect, which was a pretty good move by him, but unfortunately it's not actually going to work out for him. So now he's going to go for the Bug Buzz and actually take me out. So uh, I know he's Expert Belted already, which is fine with me, because now I go out into my own Genesect, attempting, attempting to threaten him out with the Flamethrower, but he's actually going to stay in and uh, predict me to go for the U-turn as I'm going to switch into my Terrakion and take Thunderbolt damage as he's going to predict me to go into Terrakion. So there's a lot of predictions going on right here. He's going to switch into his Terrakion to sack it because uh, uh, he, he doesn't want to send in his Politoed to take the close combat damage because he's going to need it for his reign. Now he's going to send out Garchomp. I'm afraid this thing is Scarf, so I'm going to switch out into my Hippowdon to take the Scarf damage. He is going to go for the Earthquake. And I know that he doesn't really have a switch other than Tornadus uh, that can take an Earthquake, so I'm just going to go for it. But it actually turns out that he is um, uh, Swords Dance with some probably Yachi Berry, I would guess, because that was my uh, prediction from last game, but he didn't have the Yachi Berry. Now I know I can Revenge this Terrakion, so I'm going to go into that, go for the Close Combat. That's another Pokemon that died. I'm telling you, there's like sacking every two turns, but it's not like he could do anything. He's locked into Outrage. Now, here's where things work out. Go for the Stone Edge. I hit and I KO with the Rock Gem. So that was my set in case you guys didn't see that last episode because I didn't show it last episode. Here, I'm just going to sack my Landorus because it's useless at this point. I don't need it for the rest of his team. And now it's down to 3-3. That is a Pokemon sacked. And now I'm going to send out my Genesect. And we're going to have another Pokemon sacked as he's going to have to fodder out his own Genesect to take the Thunderbolt, which I'm going to proceed to go for as nothing on his team can take it at this point. So now he's down to his last two, Caldeo and Tornadus T. And I know this thing is going to be scarfed looking at the items previously. I'm going to switch to my Terrakion to fodder it off. I don't need it. Um, and I'm going to send out my Amoongus right now. That was literally a sack like three turns in a row. And I'm going to proceed to go for the Stun Spore. And uh, at this point, um, I know that all he can do is hope that uh, something goes wrong or I get min damage or something weird. Because I'm going to go for the Giga Drain and I gain almost as much health back as I lost. He's actually going to crit me right here, which we both lulled at because it was pretty hilarious. But at this point, it's going to be GG as his Tornadus is... Life Orb, and I have a Scarf Genesect, which means that I'm going to outspeed and win the game. So, GG Taylor, very, very close match. And, uh, yeah, so that was uh, Offense and OU, for those of you who hadn't seen the uh, real power of Offense and OU. And uh, that's pretty much made me love this team even more. But it also made me think about a lot of things because I've realized... Um, what this like because you guys remember like I took a break over the summer and stuff like that I realized how much this break like cooled me off you know from the game because you always need a break from the game because you know it's Pokemon and you know this game sucks but uh, <laughs> regardless um you know it it always makes me think uh how important the break actually was because I was rejuvenated and I got that Techno Blast back 
and uh, I went on and um, went on to beat Taylor. So that's a good game, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.